Well, let's get some more now on that Leicester City story. Uh, the football financial expert, Kieran Maguire, is able to simplify most things for us. Um, Kieran, good evening. Let me, let, you, let me give you my layman's take on this. You can tell me where I've got this wrong. Essentially, this is about technicalities, about the, how the laws were drafted. It's about a time frame, partly as well. And as I understand it, there could be an appeal, but there probably won't be. Is, is that all about right or is that completely wrong? <laughs> I think that's absolutely spot on. I think in terms of the drafting of the legislation by the Premier League, it, it does look weak um, and, and therefore Leicester have taken advantage of that and, and they've applied the letter of the law as far as their defence is concerned. Um, I think two issues went in favour of Leicester in that Leicester extended its financial year end from the 31st of May in 2022 to the 30th of June in 2023. Again, perfectly within the rules. Had it been the 31st of May, they could have been up on a charge. And a thirdly, that Leicester transferred its own shares in the Premier League. I think it was to Luton on the 13th of June. Leicester's financial year end was the 30th of June. So therefore, technically, Leicester City was not a Premier League football club when it submitted its accounts and therefore wasn't subject to the Premier League rules. Kieran, I just wonder what, what precedent you think this sets then for, for clubs relegated from the Premier League going forward in terms of PSR? Well, I think what we will see is a redrafting of the rules by the Premier League. Um, they will claim that it wasn't the intention of the rules to, to allow this um, uh, environment to take place. Um, but Leicester's, uh, Leicester's legal team clearly spotted that the, the rules had been poorly drafted. So expect a redraft. Um, in terms of the appeal, I think you are absolutely right to say that I think the Premier League are in a very weak position if, if they do decide to go ahead with an appeal. The only reason why that might be the case is if there's an awful lot of pressure put on the Premier League by other clubs, especially those who are perhaps in the bottom half of the division or expect to finish in the bottom half of the, the Premier League this season. Given that this is a technicality, essentially, that Leicester is getting away with, does this have any implications for the future of PSR? No, no. PSR, first of all, ultimately, it was initially created by UEFA and the Premier League have um, adopted the rules, although they've used their own variant. I think the Premier League now has to go back and uh, it will be, be licking its wounds. It has to look at its own rule book and perhaps to get a, an independent party to come in and scrutinise uh, the Premier League's own rule book to try to find if there's any other weaknesses. But PSR as a uh, as an ethos, um, I, I expect to go forwards because those clubs at the top of the Premier League will qualify for Europe and will have to apply for UEFA's rules. And clearly there's a desire from owners that they want losses to be reduced. And the best way to achieve that is to have some form of cost control. So we might see a new flavour of PSR, but I think the, the broad uh, ambitions of cost control will remain. You've lived up to your billing, Kieran. I said you always explain things for us. You've done it again. Thank you very much. Thank you.